Hey, hey, pilots! Welcome to another exciting episode of Skirmish First Look. It's this week's skirmish. We get one every week. Every week it's a whole lot of fun. I'm your host, Gotcha Beacons. Thanks for checking it out and stopping by my YouTube channel and checking this out. Um, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, like the episode if you like it. Make a comment. Share it with your friends on your Facebook channel. It'd be cool, man. Thanks. So let's look at this week's hangar. We got a, um, a bulwark, a blitz, a um, nemesis, a tear, and a pursuer. Well, I know how most of those ones work. This is blitz. I got one in my hangar now. This one's got the fire ones on it. I'm not sure if they're called igniters or what they are or blaze, but he's got four of them on there. Now, here's the way the blitz works. He's got four small slots. He's got a little thing. You see that three little things on the button there that he shoots out? That is like a little subduer. Um, it, when you shoot it out, it starts a whole little um, chain reaction. First, it shoots out three little bursts that um, will affect your enemy. They have a 350 meter range, so don't use them early and don't spill your candy in the lobby. Make sure they're within range when you're using it. Secondly, you're gonna get a burst of speed when you hit that, um, and so you'll be able to run faster. And, for, and finally, you get a little energy shield that kicks up around you. So it's really meant for a quick surge in and assassination. That's exactly what I did with that first guy. The second guys, I just use it for kind of going in and supporting my mates because a whole bunch of us against a whole bunch of them. Well, you got another thing here. It's a passive module. It's called phase shift. That guy just used it and he timed it just perfectly. I should have used mine right there. Forgot to do it. But phase shift pretty much makes you invisible and, uh, and, and, and whatever they have is going to pass right through you. So unlike stealth, if you're stealth, you can still get hit. But with phase shift, it, you're, you're basically transparent. Um, everything passes right through you. It's an amazing ability. And you can load it on any one of your bots that has an open active uh, module slot. It does burn through your, um, uh, your uh, whatever they're called. You know what I'm talking about. Your power cells. It, it'll burn through your power cells. But um, you get a lot of them. And uh, hey, it's a great little um, thing to combine with some of these other abilities and give yourself one really nasty bot. And our guys have been so much on the beacons that <laughs> this battle is over. That was the bulwark I was using. We'll get into him in another battle. Let's see. These are the uh, pilots on both sides. We have a combination of uh, masters on my side. But, you know, the way it works, there, there's a silver. So the way it works in skirmish, um, it, they'll give you anywhere from a bronze all the way up to champions. They don't discriminate because everyone's got the exact same hanger. Some skirmishes they don't, but this week it's the same hanger on both sides. So everyone's got equal footing. So just play wise. So this is Springfield. Um, looks like it's still domination. Sometimes they'll give you, a, it's a quick match where you never know what mode you're gonna get. Now, I did just use his ability to hurry up and get that beacon. And I just almost didn't get it, but my mates are getting it. So now I'm gonna go over here to this uh, next one because it's domination. It's three and hold, we need to get three. We got the one, now I wanna get the other one. There's the other one right there. Hopefully my mates, yeah, they're getting the one by the dam. And now I'm gonna get this one here, running backwards. And now we've got three beacons to their, um, oh no. They're grabbing our spawn beacon. That usually doesn't happen on Springfield, but apparently no one was watching the um, the uh, the actual spawn beacon. I used my little uh, subduer there, but that guy hit this. Um, that was so smart of him. See what he did there? He used that phase shift right at the right time. I am still gonna try to go over there and cap this one. Oh, and then I lost connection. But you know what? <laughs> I'm hoping I wasn't gonna, oh, and I didn't. Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> I'm still alive. I can't believe it. So that guy's capping that one anyhow. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to get over to our spawn area because apparently our guys are just allowing our spawn to get overran. And uh, that's no bueno. <laughs> so I got to go in and try to help the mates. Again, I'm in with a little bit of everything. And it looks like we've kind of left all the the back doors open. No one's guarding nothing. And they're just wandering on over there and grabbing whatever they want willy nilly. So. Uh, it sounds. It seems like our guys have kind of fallen down, and that's going to happen on um, skirmish. You are going to get in with whoever. They don't know what they're doing, oh, and, and sometimes they don't have wise gameplay. I'm just going in for it right here, trying to grab this guy back, use my little um, uh, a module to module up and get my health back. And now I got to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to wait. There you go. Boom. Go. Uh, go all inventory uh, stealth on him but it's a pursuer against a pursuer it's a tough one and i, I didn't have that lot of a uh, damage um, or a lot of health but i managed to survive that one and i think he's just about oh 
I thought he was out, and he's not out. Oh, that's another thing. This pursuer, he's got, um, not only has he got the health, but he's got um, what's called last stand. And last stand means you're gonna survive at the very end for a few seconds. Um, and if you weather that one like I did, it'll allow me to get out. So now we've kind of got this area sewed up, but they're getting our spawn beacon again. I can't believe how many times they've actually invaded our spawn and got away with it. Um, usually you, you leave people there. So I am making a run over here to grab this beacon because we need it. And this guy's gonna try to burn me down, but I'm staying try to out of his way. He's still probably gonna get me, and I'm gonna, oh, he phase shift right at the right time. See, he's a good pilot, he knows what he's doing. And I'm gonna try to dance around him, but I am not gonna win this one, you know, even with my last stand. And I'm, I'm not very good with last stand, and maybe I should've just phased him since he couldn't get me, but I was trying to circle around. So this is the um, bulwark. He's got Dragoons on him. If you don't know how the bulwark works, uh, first off, Dragoons got a 600 meter range. Um, they do a quick burst of energy. Um, it's not an automatic lock-on, so you can certainly miss with their Dragoon. So it definitely takes um, uh, your um, your aiming abilities. Uh, if, make sure you use your skill. Don't just shoot in that gentle direction. You gotta hit your target. And um, I got, looks like my uh, last stand was working there, but um, I wasn't doing very good toggling and he's out. So this is the tier. I've never used them before. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm really new at this and I'm gonna make mistakes. But um, it also looks like we're not doing so good either. We're making some mistakes. It seems like every time I turn around, they're all over our beacons and our guys are like nowhere to be found. And I really don't know where they're at. They're obviously not focused focused on beacons, uh, but that's skirmish. Skirmish, you're going to get who who knows. Um, I could be with a bunch of, uh, you know, bronzes and silvers and, and people that just aren't using wise gameplay tactics. Maybe they're just going, oh, wow, I got my hands on something I won't be able to see for a long time. I'm not even qualified to own one yet, you know, and so they're just having fun with the, the bots, but they really don't know what they're doing, and uh, they're not even thinking about the gameplay. They're just thinking about uh, running around with these really expensive bots going, wow, look, I'm driving a Ferrari. Well, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get this one because, again, our guys just weren't focused on beacons, and you can't win a battle in uh, domination if you aren't on the beacon. That's that's name of the game. Um, I got a few. Oh my gosh! I got a master. I got, I got a champion. I got a couple champions. I'm not. Now I'm a bit surprised at uh, the performance that I saw on the battlefield because I thought we'd have got a few more beacons in that. Um, and uh, they just played, they outplayed some champions. Okay, so I'm just saying, a bunch of bronzes just outplayed a bunch of champions. That's pretty sad. Sorry to see that. Oh well, let's go into our next one though. Maybe it'll be a little bit better. You'll get a good look at all the different bots. So again, this is the pursuer. He's got gusts on him and he's got the uh, the, 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 you know, the extra armory uh, 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 module uh, that you can, uh, mod modification. Um, and uh, these gusts, you know, they got uh, about a 500 meter range, but they really don't start doing their pet, their punishment to get in really close. So you really gotta pretty much use this guy as an attack mode. What you do is you wait till they're really close, and then, oh, and then he's smart, and he uses things that don't shoot, Dave. Don't shoot! Oh no, I didn't do it right. Oh, and then I lost connection! Oh man! <laughs> Well, don't lose connection when you're playing these and you'll do a lot better. <laughs> There's my tip for the day. Have a good connection. Well, this is the, um, this is definitely one I'm gonna be able to take this guy out on. Um, this is another thing too, learning how to use, no, I, hey, I know that one, you taught me well. <laughs> the face shift. Um, the, um, these igniters or the, the any kind of an ember type of a, uh, of a weapon. Make sure that you're understanding how it works. You need to lead in the direction that the enemy is traveling um, because the flame trails. Also, if someone's shooting at you, what you need to do is keep moving in, an, in one direction or if you really don't have a place to run, go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth in wide directions and you'll actually probably get missed by a lot of the ember. Uh, flame uh, damage. So um, you can see they're not that great. They kind of have a, a funky spray. Now there is splash on these um, on those flames too. So if someone is hiding from you and you've got your igniters or uh, whatever they're called and you can flame nearby, the, the, there is some damage that will emit around the corner. Um, it looks like my team is doing a pretty good job of managing the beacons here. Um, they know how to play domination, which is great to see. Um, this tier has two weapons on him. He's got a freezing weapon on the side ones, and I believe those are pulsars. And then the ones on top, um, I'm not sure what weapon that is. Um, I think it's like the small, 
I think it's like a Mark Key or something like that. Um, so it has like a 500 meter. Oh, maybe it's a ballista. I'm really new at this, so it's a it's a weapon that I'm not familiar with. So, uh, but the thing about skirmish, and I'm gonna wrap up with this as the game is coming down to an end here. It looks like we got these guys. Uh, they're making a good run for it. But the thing about skirmish is it's a great way to try out weapons you've never played before. It's a great way to learn these things and learn how they how they do in case you want to maybe save up for one in the workshop. Um, this does not count against your career uh, stats to hurt your damage average or your um, or anything like that. It doesn't help it either, but it, it will give you silver. Um, they don't pay you as much silver per you know per damage that you get, um, but you do get some, um, and it's fun. It's something different, and um, you know you may get frustrated with the teams that you're on sometimes because not all of them are gonna use wise gameplay tactic tactics, um, and it's always it looks like it's gonna be quick uh, quick play because I think sometimes you're gonna get other modes, but hey, it's something different and it gives you a feel for what's out there. So. Uh, make sure you're having fun with Skirmish. We have uh, good pods on both sides. Looks like everyone played a pretty solid game. And look at that. We, I got outplayed by I got outplayed by uh, some uh, some silvers in my game, and there's a bronze and all. So um, still a lot of fun. A lot of good pods on both sides. I hope you all had fun. Um, and uh, that was this week's Skirmish. Go out there and have some fun, guys. It's on for a few more days. Um, thanks so much for stopping by and watching. Play well. Peace out, guys.